Hey guys, it's Kim. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. This is a different kind of video than you would be prepared to maybe see from me. Today I'm going to film my second official floss tube video, but I'm going to call this floss tube number one. This is, well, if you're not familiar with floss tube, floss tube is a community in YouTube that talks all about cross stitching projects. Um, I fell down the rabbit hole probably about a year and a half ago and I have not stopped since. I love it. I love watching creators. I love seeing the projects that are out there. I love buying all this stuff and it has become a wonderful hobby for me and I've met some wonderful people along the way. Last year I posted what's called a whip video which is all of my works in progress and I showed you all the things that I had been working on and that has since changed quite a bit since last year because I have introduced a lot more projects into my whip pile but what I want to do today is go through all of the projects that I have on my whip go board that I've done for from January until now August and I will be referencing my 2024 book of days this is a book that is put out it's like a planner for your stitching or I also log in like what I've knitted um, for days so here's February you'll see what I you know I've decorated it and listed out things that I've knitted so I'm gonna be referring to this and I'll explain everything to you along the way so first of all um, thank you so much for viewing if you are a regular viewer of my makeup content um, I appreciate you and thank you so much my content is not gonna be a hundred percent changing I'm still gonna be doing makeup content but I want to sprinkle in my craft content too and if you're here just for the crafting stuff I, I totally get that too you can ignore all my other content I just didn't want to start a whole new channel for my floss tube stuff um, unless people really feel that I I should do that so what is Whipgo? Whipgo is a game like bingo where you label squares with numbers a number is called and you have projects associated with those numbers it's kind of like panning if you're familiar with makeup panning because you assign prompts to different things and you have a goal so for all of my Whipgo pieces, I have a goal to work on them 10, 10 hours. And I will let you know if I've hit those goals or not. And I'm going to show you all the projects that I've been working on. I will link Jessie Marie Does Stuff, her channel down below. She is the brainchild of Whipgo, and I just love her for that. So let's get into the projects that I have worked on now from January and then what has been called in August and everything in between. Another thing I wanted to ask was if you guys are crafty people, please send me pictures of your crafty things and explanations to go along with them to teacherlovesbeauty at gmail.com. The email address is listed in my description box. I'm collecting photos of projects to feature on my channel. I have some yarny ones that I'm going to be posting on my yarn videos when I show you my next update and I want to start um, getting some cross stitching things. If you do any other kinds of crafts, send me photos. I'd love to feature you on my channel. So let's Let's get into the projects for um, January's Whipgo calls. The first thing that was called was for my sea glass pattern. This is a Carolyn Manning design. It is absolutely beautiful. Look at all those greens in there. Here is the, I floss drop all of my threads, but here is the floss for it. I mean, look at all these beautiful. I mean, this is sea glass, right? When you think of sea glass, these are the colors I think of anyway, but they're absolutely gorgeous. When I brought this out in the beginning of January, I had only had a little bit done here. That's probably what you would have seen in my whip video last year, but you can see that I've gotten a lot more done. So this is 10 hours worth of progress. For the most part, this was a really sad start. So getting 10 hours on this was wonderful. And I'm really glad that I had the um, opportunity to work on it some more. So that was one of the January calls. I, yeah, she calls two numbers a month. 
And some people do it where like once they hit a bingo or something and hit their goals for a bingo, they get a prize. I, I'm not doing that. I, I don't really need a reason to buy stuff. I just do it whenever I want. Maybe that's bad. Okay, the next piece that was called was my full coverage piece, the fairy tale book. I will put a picture of it on the screen. I did start it, wait, no. I started it on fabric that I was gritting myself and this was a nightmare. The gritting was awful. I didn't like this fabric. I, I was like, why am I doing this to myself? So considering I didn't really get that far, I decided, it's going over there now. I can take it out of the bag. I wanted to purchase some pre-gridded fabric already, so I did, and this is how much I got done in the 10 hours. It was only one color's worth that I got done, but now I'm starting to move into other colors, um, but this is 10 hours worth. Oh my gosh. Like, I feel like 10 hours should get me further, but it didn't, but last time I did my whip um, parade, I showed you all the flosses and I wore them like hair because it's like a wig. I mean, this is a huge amount of floss and this isn't even all of it, but I love this pattern. I really want to get back to doing it again, but I'm really glad that it was called for whip go. You're going to hear me say that quite a bit like, oh, I, I wish it could be called again or I want to work on it some more because I love all these projects, but I'm really thankful that I decided to do whip go this year because it gave me a little bit of a focus and um, I still had fun working on other things as well. So for February, the first piece that was called was for my Ophelia piece. Look at how gorgeous she is. Oh my gosh. Here are all the glass beads. I have those. Here are the threads. OMG. Some of these water lily silks and all these bright greens and pretty oranges and the fuchsia in there. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous. I started it on the called for fabric, which was this um, Witchell linen in, I forgot what shade it was. Summer cat or sage, sage or summer khaki. That's what this one is. And I had a really sad, sad start, but I didn't like that linen. And I decided to start it over again on this which out Perman Ada in natural brown. I'm not a fan of this either, but I liked it better than I did the other. So my 10 hour progress on this piece is this much. I got this much done in the 10 hours. So I finished these water lilies or lily pads up here, and then I worked a lot on her hair. I mean, it's just gorgeous. And I got a lot of the border done. So I was really pleased with this progress. Um, of course, I want to pull it out and work on it some more and yada, yada, yada. Same story, different day or different project. But, you know, can't do it all. I work, I, you know, have other hobbies. So that was that. Next up for February, In the Pink was the next project. This is from the Crowns and Shields book um, from Blackbird. And this is the piece I am working on. I love it. This is, I'm using the called for fabric, which is um, Weeks Dye Works in Sanguine, Sanguine, Sanguine. And this is how far I got in the 10 hours. So I got maybe a fifth, a quarter of it done. I just loved working on this. I didn't do any of like the initials that go in the boxes or in the different motifs because I really wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to do, but I'm using the NPI silk in the shade, let's see. This is in um, 502, it's in the Chinese red range. And this was um, given to me, I asked 123 Stitch, I was like, what should I, you know, what's the, like the most popular red in NPI? And they had said that that was one of the most popular. So yeah, I didn't iron anything. I, I, sorry. <laughs> so that's where I'm at with in the pink. And I really, really enjoyed working on that. Mm -hmm. I want to do it more. Revisiting these is really fun for me. Okay. March. So I started my sobriety journey, um, August 26th of 2022. And that year I decided I wanted to start a couple of pieces to honor my journey with sobriety. So first, um, Pam from Just Keep Stitching, I think that's her channel, Pam and Steph. She 
decided to do this praiseworthy stitches simple gifts courage for her battle with breast cancer that she won and I just loved this the pinks and the reds or no it's like dark pink and light pink I loved the pattern and I loved courage and I feel like if you are going to number one admit you're an alcoholic and that your life has become unmanageable that you have courage and it took a lot of courage for me to admit that and then decide to start working on that so I chose to join her in her cell not for the same reason as her but for my own journey and here's how far I got I really enjoy working on this piece it gives me a lot of time to reflect it's absolutely gorgeous and I love these two pinks that come with it one of my favorite colors is pink I'm doing let's see what is the fabric it is it's in the bag well let's show you the threads first well let me grab out the paper oh I'm so organized right this is a um, 28 count Lugana in the shade ivory but it looks like it's got some pink to it and maybe that's just because I have so much pink thread on it but I always felt like it pulled pink but it's ivory and stuff help, helped me pick out that color I ordered it from keepsakes so I'll link them down below as well I'll try to link everything that I'm talking about down below so that you can um, click on it if you want the threads I'm using are gentle art threads and the first color is pink azalea that's this beautiful light pink and then the darker pink is simply shaker rose garden beautiful love them and whenever I work on it it just just helps me reflect a little bit about my journey you know I'm almost we don't we don't borrow time in sobriety but I'm almost at two years and I'm super proud of myself the other piece I chose to work on um, was a sal that was put on by Kia B and this is the beautiful sampler I started this with my beautiful friend Natalie this is how kind of how we met we started working on this piece and I just think this is gorgeous the saying says don't be afraid just believe and again, I mean, you know, staying sober is hard and um, for many different reasons. And sometimes it's not even the actual act of drinking, right? There's a lot of like feelings that come back that are scary. So, you know, don't be afraid, just believe, believe you can do it. But here are the colors, they are gorgeous. I'm using all the DMC. And the fabric I am using is the called for and you had a choice and I decided to go with the Ada fiber on a whim espresso and this is how far I've gotten I love it it's really fun to work on this border is a challenge holy moly a lot of thread count a lot of counting and a lot of thread changes but look at that beautiful urn in the middle I'm just loving it I'm loving at first I was like "Ooh, this fabrics dark I'm not sure if I'm gonna like it but I do I really really enjoy it so but I haven't worked on that since March and I'm like oh but again you can't work on everything right okay now we are into April so for April um, what got picked was hands-on design season two a year of celebration continues and I am doing the this is a different yeah this was a fat quarter shop conversion where Kimberly from the fat quarter shop chose different colors and I liked it so I decided to do that now let me let me show you here so here is what it looks like there are all these little months I don't know if you can really see them but there is what that's what January is supposed to look like so here's what I did I started it on the called for this was on oh I can't even I don't even know this was on an even weave I believe yes it was an even weave and it was a Lori Holt fabric and we have January I hated this fabric 
I am realizing I would rather do linen or Ada. Even we, for me, trying to get in those holes, it's it's harder than getting into linen, I feel like. I don't know, I'm not an even weave girly. And I know so many people like that more than a linen, but I, I, yeah, not for me. So I decided to grab out Vintage Country Mocha, and I decided to order an 18 count because I wanted it to be smaller, and I was able to finish my May block. Look at how cute! With the little bees and the bee skips. No, not bee skips. These are the, the hive box. Oh, it's so cute. And the honey up here. I forgot. Look at the little bees, how cute they are. They're so little. So cute. So here is the thread. This is all classic color works. There are the shades, beautiful, and I am loving this. So what I'm going to do is finish them all separately and do them like a flat fold and then put magnets and put them onto this one container I have in my living room that kind of sits there. So May is done. And I did hit my 10 hours of progress on this piece. Um, also, what was pulled was my Alice in Wonderland um, project from Owl Forest Embroidery. And here's what this one's going to look like. I chose the three-toned one. I got it as a, uh, I bought it as a kit from someone on a D-Stash group. And I was like, oh my gosh, I love this. Well, I used the kit fabric and I started it. And I was like, not liking how small this linen was. And I didn't, one thing I'm having a hard time with is putting Owl Forest embroidery things into Pattern Keeper or Markup. For some reason, I'm technologically challenged when it comes to that and I can't do it. And I'm good with technology, so I don't, I don't know how I'm having such a hard time. But whenever I load it, it only loads like one piece of the chart and it's all smushed together and it looks really weird. But anyway, I decided to restart it and I'm so glad that I did I um, here are all the threads these are the called for this is the kit the owl forest kit threads and owl forest threads are beautiful I really enjoy working with them but I decided to go with 18 count bees knees I don't know what brand fabric it is I got it from Hobby House and this is how far I got wait it goes like this so I got the rabbit with his little watch. And then Alice falling down the tunnel with her little potions. So I was really happy with my progress. Look at her hair. Oh, it's so cute. I really, really enjoyed this. So I'm really happy I restarted it. Um, now this fabric can go to something else because I, now that I've worked with smaller linen, I think that would be easier for me, but at the time I was like, oh no ma'am, I can't do this. So I'm really glad that I restarted it. So that was my April with bow calls. And I hit the goal for that as well. Now is here where I fell down the rail fell off the rails because I did not hit any of my whip go goals since. Spoiler alert. So May. May, there were three numbers that were called. And that's not why. I just kind of got into doing other crafts. I got into reading more. I was knitting more. Um, I was also really busy with school and stuff. So yeah, it just didn't happen. But the first one that was called was, is this is the day. This is a pattern from the sunflower seed. And I bought this when I was in college. Bought everything to go with it. So here is the pattern. It's beautiful. I love it. But for some reason, my fabric, it, it is not gonna be large enough and I was so sad because I have to cut off a lot and I'm gonna be very very close okay so here's where I'm at let me show you this first so here's the pattern and here's where I'm at I'm going to have to sew on some fabric to frame this piece and what I decided to do and I didn't want to have to do this I'm only doing what's inside this first border. I was gonna cut that off to begin with and just do the picture in that first border or second border, but now all I can do is that one border around. Okay, my camera cut me off, how rude. Anyway, this is on um, 
30 count r and r creme brulee that's what it says that i'm using the called for and um i did get my 10 hour no i did not this is where i fell apart i did not get my 10 hours in i'm using all gentle arts sampler threads and i don't know oh i had to get more of these so these are floss dropped because that's what i usually do but this is how I used to do it on bobbins. So those are bobbinated. I floss drop everything now. So that is, this is the day. And I love it, it's lovely, but it's not gonna work out the way I originally thought, and that's okay. The next piece was um, At Home by With Thy Needle and Thread. I just love this. I started this with my friend Natalie as well. And um, this is, I'm using the Vicky Clayton Silks. Oh my gosh, these are gorgeous. I did floss drop one so far because this is the one I started working with. These are so beautiful and so nice to work with. Oh my gosh, gorgeous. But this is my sad, 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 sad start. And I'm doing it, I started it on Ada and then realized I had to do one over one. So I changed real quick and I'm doing it on 36 count vintage country mocha. <coughs> so I'm a little, I'm a little, it's a little small, but I have, I finally found a wonderful light slash magnifier and that has made a world of difference for me with working on things and it made me it makes me very happy now so I feel like I actually bought a piece of 40 count a small piece because I want to try doing something on that because I'm like whoa maybe now I can you know do smaller projects because I have this new a light and magnifier so yay um, and then the last one because she called three numbers this month um, is Martha Walmsley by Hands Across the Sea. And when I went to the Hobby House, this is an exclusive with the Hobby House um, store, I saw this and fell in love with it. This bird is absolutely gorgeous. These urns, this border, oh my gosh, gorgeous. And I'm doing the call for, I got the whole kit. So the whole kit and caboodle. This is on Ada, what is it? Lally Brock Tabby Cat, I think. I don't know, it's on the called for, but here's how far I got. So I started working on the bird and got down into there. And then here is some of the leaf work. And I'm using the Soie silks. I splurged. This is, oh, I just want to like touch them. They're so beautiful. And I'm working on. 18 count Ada. Yeah. Mm, I think I'm using 18 count Ada. Yes. And I'm really loving it, but I did not hit my goal yet. So I will be working some more on that. You will see that in a future floss tube video if I can get my act together and keep filming these because uh, I've been wanting to film these for a while. All right. June, June Whipco was, the first one was this Precious Moments piece. This is another piece that I have had since college. And this is what I'm working on. It's called This Is The Day. And it's this little shepherd with his little lambs. They're so cute. And way back in the day, oh, and I'm doing it on the called for linen, which I don't even know what it is, honestly. And it is, it was masking taped on the edges instead of being surged, but this is how far I got. It's so precious. It is a precious moment. But you, I mean, I'm finding that some of my tails were coming out. My stitching is not very good, but I'm loving it. It's so cute. I did not hit my goal though, so I still have some work to do, but um, these are, this is not right, these are the colors, wrong wrong, wrong thing. Um, these were bobbinated, I floss dropped them, so they're all curly, they look like crimped hair from the 80s and 90s, come on, you know you crimped your hair, 
if you're my age. <laughs> anyway, um, these are the shades. It's just, it's so cute. I didn't want to abandon it because I did still like it. And I'm like, you know, you've had that since college. Pull out these pieces and start working. And I'm like, wow, you know, it, to have them so long. And the fact that I was so lucky enough to know somebody, um, my friend in college, her mother had a shop. And I, I mean, I, I, I had no idea. This was back in like 1998. And I'm like, that's what I was introduced to with cross stitching. Like, how lucky am I? Most people just got like the kits and stuff, right? Um, next up, I, my, the next call for me was a new start. I could choose a new start. So I decided to work on this African Savannah at Elephant from Lindy Stitches. It's one of her endangered species um, clubs. It's club of the, it's every other month you get a new one and you get all the specialty threads. And I just thought this was so darn cute. I decided to start in this lower left hand um, corner. I don't normally do that and that turned out to be a big mistake because I messed up royally many times so I have to unpick all that so then I decided to start up at the top again and I started working on these like fronds now that's all sat and stitch those like leaves but the actual things that they're attached to it's all just lines of cross stitch so that's when I when I you know, decided to change gears. That's what I did. Um, I did not get my 10 hours in on that either, so I'll have more time to work. But these are the colors. How pretty are they? So I'm, I'm again, real excited to work some more on that one. All right, moving on to July. Woo wee, moving along, moving along. All right, July, I have, the first one is my the Everyday Sampler. Did not hit my goal on this either. And this is all done with Weeks and Gentle Arts threads and it is on 28 count summer khaki linen. I don't know what brand. Um, but again, I'm using the Gentle Arts threads. This is what I have. Um, these are the colors that I have already floss dropped. Here is the pattern. Just a cute little sampler. That border has all Smyrna crosses in it. It's really pretty. But here's where I'm at. I've done a couple of the stars and a little bit of that swirl and then some of the border, just the X's though. So yeah, I got a little ways on that, but I did not, like I said, I did not hit the 10 hour mark yet. So you'll be seeing that again and I will be working on it. My goal for WIPCO was not to have my 10 hours done by that month. I mean, if I did, that was great, but my overall goal was just to have them all done by the end of the year that might hit all my goals. So I gotta get moving. Okay. And then finally, oh, nope, one more, one more for July. And that was, is my, where is it? Come on, cuckoo bird. It's my cuckoo bird sampler. So cute. I'm hoping to finish this. Um, I'm going on the Grace Notes retreat and I'm hoping to finish it there and ring the bell. Um, so here is the cuckoo bird sampler. It is so stinking cute. And I'm using, let's see, it's another witch elk linen. I don't have the little paper, but here's what I'm working on it. Here's how far I got. I just have to finish the bird and then the word cuckoo with the stem and then the date. So let's see, here's where I'm at. And then you can see what I have left to finish. And I am using the called for thread, which is Weeks in Bark. It's a really pretty color. So I'm really, I was really enjoying working on that. I'm about six and a half hours in on that as far as like my goal. But I mean, if I, if I hit the goal, I'm still going to finish it. I want to finish it up. I, I don't want to have that just hanging out. Um, because if, if I get to the 10 hour mark and it's not finished, it will be, it'll be almost finished. So I might as well just finish it. And then last but not least was for August. 
and the two that were chosen for August. The first was this um, Nessie Mitchell 1929 from Mama Loves You GB. When I saw this, it was last year and I wanted to do a piece for Black Sampler November, so I chose this. Oh, good Lord, guys. Yeah, this was another one I had to restart because, you know, I didn't know what I was doing. So, yes. Okay. So here's what it looks like. Nessie Mitchell, 1929. I loved this. I'm an English teacher. The A-E-I-O-U, and sometimes why, just called to me. I don't know why. When she showed that on her, her channel, I was like, yes. So I did start it. I started it on the Zweigart Summer Khaki Linen, 36 count. But I did mess up. This was early on in my cross-stitching journey when I picked it back up. And I messed up. And it did not work out for me. I did not like the 36 count. So I chose instead to use this um, Artist Zweigart from Hobby Lobby. And it's an 18 count vintage is the name of the shade. And here is where I'm at. It's still in the cue snap. So I have a, I barely started. I mean, if I worked on this for 10 minutes, that's a lot. I don't even know if I did that. Maybe 15 minutes I worked on it. So that one, um, that had a sad, sad start. So I haven't even worked on this yet for the whip bow thing. I just literally pulled it out and said, let me show everybody so that you'll see what I'm going to be working on. And then last but not least is a pattern, another one that I bought when I was in college because I had switched my major to being an English teacher from physical therapy major. So I loved this. It's called The Bookshelf. The only other person that I've seen working on this is the Seattle Stitcher. I'll post her in my um, description box as well. And I'm using all the called for DMC. It's a Little House Needlework, um, Little House Needlework pattern. And I'm just using the Ada. It was a, it was supposed to be a light country a mocha cashel from Zweigart, but I think I really think this is just a 14 count Ada. I, I'm not 100% sure. I probably should remeasure this just to make sure that it's correct. The measurements are correct. But so far, I've done just this middle border. I think that this was one of my. New Year's Eve 12 by 12s and that's how far I got so again there's the pattern and that's how far I got <laughs> not far at all so this was my that was my last August pull for Whipco so yeah that's what I've been working on um, I mean I've been working on other things I've started other projects but I figure let me start with this for now with my back to floss tubing first floss tube video so I could just give you a glance at as to what I've been made you know basically working on and then next update I'll show you what I've been working on and maybe new calls or whatever I'm not sure how often I'm going to post these um I guess as often as I can so yeah thank you guys I hope you enjoyed this and um thank you guys for watching I really appreciate you um yeah, thanks for taking some time to watch me, and I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!